morning, guys, and happy Father's Day to all the dads, the stepdads, and you know what, even the moms who are pulling double duty today. Today is obviously Sunday, and it is the eighth annual Day of Thunder at Hope City Church in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I've got the Mopar all shined up, and we're heading there right now. All right, guys, we have made it to Hope City in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and we're here to check out some cars at the car show. So without further ado, let's go looking around, see what we got. Now guys, here's a car behind me. This is a uh, 1969 Chevelle. It's a four-door with a regular old six-cylinder in it. And this is a type of car that would appeal to somebody like myself that you could take that and hot rod it, make it into something really, really nice. It's not something you see every day. It's not a two-door hardtop with a big block. It's just something that you could uh, make into something really, really nice and really have some fun with it. Let's take a closer look. Now here's a man after my own heart with this beautiful orange square body and uh, with a stock street six cylinder engine in it. Now, I've heard you can get some power out of these things. I'd like to see it, but uh, nevertheless, that is one straight truck. Yours? Yes, it is. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. You're keeping with the uh, six cylinder. Yeah, I figured I'd be a weirdo or something. And well, hey. that's all of that's board and cam in it. Yeah, got the header and everything. Got a 352 barrel on it. So it's you know it's a little 
better. A little out of the ordinary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do, yeah. Yeah, no. And that's kind of why I did it. I had bought a V8 for it. Yeah. And I said, no, whatever. <laughs> I did that up instead. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a little bit different. No, no, that's right. Yeah. What the heck, eh? Yeah, this is a great place for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I appreciate so, it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, great. <laughs> so we come across this uh, 77 Le Mans. Now you don't see very many of these cars. And from talking to the owner, I would say this is the original paint. Uh, I don't know if it's or original close or to not. it. Close to it. Close to, close it. to it. So this is Jason. Jason's got this uh, 77 Le Mans. Tell me a little bit about the car. Uh, I picked it up three years ago. There was no interior. Uh, I bought it in Ormucto. And I've been picking away at it a little bit. I found, uh, I used to have a 75 Chevelle that I was picking away at, but unfortunately I had to let it go and it went to a junkyard and all the interior pieces were the same. So I went there and picked them all up from the guy I sold the car to. And he, uh, he actually gave them all back to me. And so me and my uncle Brian, we, uh, and my dad, we picked away at it. My young fellow, we put a brand new motor in it last year and hopefully get a transmission in and some different gears in it and just keep working away. Yeah, well, tell me a little bit about the motor. Uh, it's a brand new Craig 350, uh, 310 horse, new Aldebrock carb, uh, Aldebrock intake, poly carb. Uh, I had the Aldebrock valve covers powder coated by a buddy of mine in Keswick. And uh, like I say, me and the young fellow put it in and it seems to work all right. Not bad on fuel. But I'm not sure if this picture is going to do it any justice, but you can see the after effects of giving it a, a buff and polish. I might have a I just been picking away at it, you know. It, it's all kinds of fun. And I had to do the interior over and stuff. There was no interior in it, but something to do, something to spend some money on. Now, there's another YouTuber uh, that we follow each other. We actually have a live show that we do on Thursday nights uh, coming up in July here again. His cool. name is Grant. He's got a channel, and we call these odd bodies. And the reason why we call them that is because you simply don't see them no. everywhere you go. You go to a car show and you don't find another one of those. So that's why I've got the Cordoba. He's got an old Fairmont, in which I saw one over here. We're gonna go talk to that gentleman after. And uh, that's why we love these old cars. You can drive them. They're underneath, they're basically every other GM for the most part. Yep. But on the outside, they're one of a kind. Awesome. Jason, thanks for sharing that with us. Awesome, thanks. And stay tuned to Old Car Auto Guy. Absolutely. Take care.
So guys, as I mentioned earlier, this is something that I wanted to stop and take a look at. This is a 1978 Ford Fairmont Futura Edition. You don't see too many of those with that slant back window. And this one is just for you, Grant. I told you I would come over here and take a look at this beautiful car. And I think these are the owners sitting right behind it. Is this your car? Yeah. How long have you had it? Oh, around 1990. Around 1990, so you've had it for a little while. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. It's still in really good shape. Yeah, yeah. That, I've got a friend of mine who's uh, he's actually rebuilding one himself. Oh, is he? Yeah, 78 with the Futura hardtop. Yeah, yep. really? Yeah. So you don't see very many of them around. No, no not very many around. Yeah. Well, thanks for bringing it. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a great looking car. Yeah, thank you. And judging by the single tailpipe, my guess is, is that this is probably just a six cylinder. But man, what a beauty. And as all you guys know, I'm a sucker for a square body Chev. This one was here last year. Just as beautiful now as it was then. I got